The movie begins in an old farm shed as an adorable snail named Turbo closely watches a car race on TV. The invigorating sporting competition instantly fascinates the young snail, thus prompting him to gain a passion for racing. Engrossed with the new sport, Turbo sets up a miniature track in the shed and trains on it daily as he fantasizes about winning a high-speed race. Over time this newfound obsession quickly gains the attention of Turbo's elder brother, Chet, who disapproves of the hobby. A grounded Chet advises the aspiring racer to drop the impossible dream, as snails are too slow to compete in any sport. Though persistent, Chet's words fall on empty ears as Turbo remains passionate about his goal and actively trains toward it. One sunny afternoon the two brothers, alongside their snail friends, head to a nearby garden to harvest a batch of ripe fruits. While they do this, a tomato falls from its chute and makes its way to an open field as a man closely approaches with his lawn mower. Figuring they can't retrieve the fallen fruit in time, all the snails except Turbo choose to abandon it. Determined to actualize his racing dreams, the aspiring sportsman goes after the tomato as the pulverizing lawn mower heads right at him. Sadly a slow Turbo doesn't get to the fruit in time and helplessly looks on as he's seconds away from being crushed by the lawn mower. Luckily Chet intervenes at the last minute and switches on a water hose which narrowly blasts Turbo away from danger. Once the threat had been averted, a livid Chet scolds Turbo for recklessly risking his life and asks him to give up on his irrational dreams. Hearing this, Turbo's enthusiasm takes a deep dive as he sulkily leaves the farm and strolls through the city to clear his head. After crawling a great distance, he finally makes his way to a road pavement and watches the speeding cars as they navigate through traffic. Seconds later a trailer generating a large gust of wind passes Turbo and blasts the tiny snail into the ensuing tracks terrified. The farm creature instantly sneaks into his shell as the speeding highway cars hit him over to a secluded road. After several tumbles, Turbo finally lands on an unknown object, which upon inspection, turns out to be a sports car. However before the snail can process the recent events, the car's engine suddenly ignites as the driver speeds off in a race. Overwhelmed by the car's speed, Turbo is sucked into the vehicle's inner chambers and is exposed to nitrous oxide which happens to be a powerful chemical that increases speed. Immersed in the liquid, the nitrous oxide enters Turbo's body and circulates through his system as it charges his heart to go into overdrive. Once this happens, Turbo finds a way out of the car and is launched onto the streets, which causes him to pass out. The following day Turbo wakes up and eventually returns to the farm, where he reunites with Chet. Sadly this reunion is short-lived as a crow abruptly appears and snatches Chet, making its way to the sky. Seeing his friend in danger Turbo chases after the bird and, thanks to the powerful booster in his system, surprisingly goes at an unprecedented speed. With his new power-up Turbo swiftly catches up to the crow and arrives right as a nest of birds tries to eat Chet. The ultra-fast snail pushes his elder brother out of the way and takes his place as the hungry crow swallows him. However thanks to his newfound super speed, Turbo attacks the crow from the inside, prompting it to spit him out as the nest of birds disperses in fear. Now safe from the avian predators, the two snail brothers fully reunite as they try to figure their way home. Sadly before they can begin their journey, the duo is captured by a taco truck driver named Tito. The strange man takes the two snails to his car and drives them to a shady looking store in a seemingly deserted location. Scared, Turbo and Chet cower in fear as they prepare to be slaughtered. Fortunately this doesn't happen as the place turns out to be a betting ring for snail racing. Together the duo is placed on the starting line alongside other snails as the race commences. Naturally the competition starts off slow as most of the contesting snails inch their way to the finish line. But this isn't the case for the super-powered Turbo as he charges up and completes the race in a split second, much to everyone's surprise. Seeing this, Tito is astonished by the snail's super speed and decides to adopt him as a pet. The following day the taco truck driver, whose business has been on a steady decline, gets an idea to garner publicity with Turbo's super speed. The intelligent entrepreneur quickly sets up a poster in his shopping plaza as an ad for snail racing. Sadly this thought out plan doesn't yield fruition as the poster doesn't help to generate more customers for his business. Disappointed, Tito talks about his failed plan with his pet, Turbo, prompting the snail to feel sorry for him. Mere moments later Turbo spots a bus advertising the Indy 500, which happens to be a national car racing tournament. This ad instantly gives Turbo an idea to help Tito as he uses his super speed to direct the business owner's attention to the race. A perceptive Tito instantly understands his pet snail's plan and ultimately decides to check him into the race to generate more publicity for his business. But this proves to be quite a Herculean task as the small business owner struggles to raise the tournament's registration fee of $20,000. Having massive faith in Turbo's abilities, Tito meets his brother and business co-owner, Angelo, and pitches the idea to him. The hopeful entrepreneur proposes they invest their life savings in sponsoring Turbo, citing that it'd generate tons of publicity. However a skeptical Angelo scoffs at the idea of registering a snail into a racing match and immediately rejects the plan, much to Tito's disappointment. However the blatant rejection doesn't deter the hopeful entrepreneur, 
as he goes on to seek financial support from other business owners in the plaza. The following day, Tito organizes a detailed business presentation and pitches the idea to his fellow entrepreneurs. However, just like Angelo, the store owners ignore his idea and refuse to invest in the outlandish plan. Meanwhile, the race snails who competed against Turbo on his first day get word of the Indy 500 plan and unanimously resolve to help send him there. Together, the snails join forces and manage to divert a bus full of people to the deserted plaza. Once the vehicle arrives, Turbo uses his super speed to create a light show on Tito's poster, thus drawing the passengers' attention to it. Seeing the overhead billboard, the visitors decide to remain in the plaza as they eagerly watch Turbo race. While doing this, the passengers patronize the plaza's store owners, which generates the largest traffic the business people have seen in years. After the sales spike, the initially skeptical entrepreneurs have a change of heart and hand Tito the cash he needs to enter the race. With the funding, Tito and Turbo accompanied by the snails and store owners, head for the Indy 500 and try to sign up for the race. Sadly, the show's organizers find Tito's application to register a snail, ridiculous, and immediately turn down his application. However, a determined Turbo doesn't give up and, with the help of his snail friends, bypasses security as he makes it to the track. Once there the speedy snail swiftly circles the track in seconds as the spectators stare in awe. Among them is an astonished young boy who records Turbo speeding through the track and posts the video on the internet. In no time the clip becomes a global sensation as many people are amazed by the snail's unnatural speed. Due to the viral video the chief owner of the Indy 500 organizes an emergency press conference and reluctantly allows Turbo to race after being cajoled by the fascinated public. The following day the Indy 500 commences as thousands of fans troop into the stadium to watch the revered competition. As the racers take their respective places, Gagne, the fan favorite and defending champion, heads to the starting line in style as the crowd cheers in adoration. Shortly after, Turbo also arrives at the scene and sets into position as his friends bid him good luck. Moments later the race officially begins as all the contestants fire up their engines and blast off at top speed. Turbo, who had never been in an official competition, grows nervous and anxiously watches the spectators, thus causing him to slow down. Fortunately, the courageous snail doesn't let the pressure get to him and eventually zaps off as he finishes the first of the tournament's 200 laps. For the first few laps, Turbo glides across the track smoothly. However, things quickly take a sinister turn as the unprotected snail gets jam-packed by the racing cars. Being small in size, Turbo struggles to occupy a definite space as he dodges the race cars to avoid being crushed by their tires. The constant maneuvering causes him to fall behind as he takes a break on the 30th lap. Turbo's snail friends instantly come to his aid as they deliver a quick fix-up alongside a motivating pep talk. Feeling refreshed and armed with his friends' encouraging words, Turbo re-enters the race with new vigor and motivation. This time, instead of being intimidated by the cars, the super snail uses his small size to his advantage. A witty Turbo overtakes the speeding vehicles by going underneath them and also slides through the side walls to bypass drivers at the track edges. Using this technique, he quickly overtakes a ton of the other racers and eventually makes it into the top 10 as the pumped crowd cheers him on. After several minutes of racing, Turbo finally makes it to second place as he desperately tries to overtake Gagne for the lead spot. Sadly, the narcissistic champion pulls a shady move and pushes Turbo into a sharp turn littered with marbles. This foul action causes the snail to crash into a wall and ultimately break its shell. Injured, Turbo's sight goes blurry as he relentlessly struggles to reach his race station. On getting there he meets Tito alongside his other friends, who worry about his wounds. Seeing his injured shell the concerned pet owner contemplates pulling Turbo out of the competition, but the determined snail refuses to give up and speeds off as he re-enters the race. Filled with conviction, Turbo accelerates at an unprecedented speed and soon regains his former position of second place as he goes head-to-head -head with the defending champion. Like before, Gagne tries to take Turbo out by pushing the snail into a corner. However, an experienced Turbo predicts this and outmaneuvers the shady racer by gliding through the track's walls as he tactfully overtakes the champion. Now entering the last lap, Turbo blasts off at top speed as he maintains his lead while Gagne desperately struggles to catch up. With Turbo inching towards the finish line, Gagne pulls an extremely risky move and drives at the track corner to overtake the snail. Sadly, this backfires as the marbles littering the track's edges puncture his tires, causing him to crash and take out all the other racers. Turbo is also left severely injured as the crash leaves a massive hole in his shell which ultimately causes him to lose his powers. Devastated by the accident, and with several meters left in the race, Turbo loses all hope and silently hides in his shell as the spectators watch him in disappointment. Seeing this, Chet alongside the other snails heads to depress Turbo, gives him an inspiring speech that cheers him up. On regaining his confidence Turbo returns to the race and slowly crawls his way to the finish line as the crowd applauds him. However before the injured snail can complete the race, Gangney recovers his car and drags it along as he walks toward the finish line. With only a few inches left to the endpoint, both racers give it all they've got as they painfully forge ahead. 
Having the lead, Turbo crawls as fast as he can to the finish line, but a shady Gagney soon catches up to him and stumps at the snail in an attempt to kill it. Fortunately Turbo withdraws into his shell at the last second and rolls forward as he approaches the endpoint. Desperate, Gagney tries to stop the leading snail by lunging at it. However his final attempt is too late as Turbo narrowly gets out of his reach and arrives at the finish line. Seeing this the crowd instantly erupts in applause as the race officials declare Turbo, the winner. After the race, a celebration event is organized, and Turbo is officially crowned the Indy 500 champion as he and his friends erupt in celebration. Weeks later, the group returns to the shopping plaza, and as predicted, Turbo's win attracts a large number of customers for the business owners. The movie ends as a now-recovered Turbo and the rest of the snails organize one last race as they collectively blast toward the finish line. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.